What is up guys, the LA Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 3 of my MLB 16 The Show Fantasy Draft franchise. Now, in today's episode, we are going up against the Boston Red Sox. We are actually going to be the away team in this game, and I wanted to do something that I didn't do in the last game, of course, because it was opening day. Uh, but in this episode, I'm actually going to show you guys the stats of my team and the team I'm playing. That way, you can look at our roster. You can look at their roster, of course, since it's a fantasy draft. You don't actually know what type of players we are going up against, and I'm sure you guys are curious. So that was just kind of a look at their stats and what players they have. Today on the mound for us, we have Hector Rodon, and they have, um, I was just looking at Michael Pineda. So, uh, we have Carlos Rodon, and if you guys looked at my title pretty well, or if you just looked at it directly, I mean, um, you basically have an idea of how this game is going to go, and you have an idea of what Carlos Rodon is going to do. Um, if you wanted to be a surprise, I guess try to not look at the title for this whole video, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what's about to happen. Uh, this was one of the craziest games I've ever played, because it is not very often that you're able to accomplish a crazy feat. An LB or just like in a, in a video game really we're able to do something that's just like almost impossible to do and if there's one feat that is accomplished in any any sports um, event or anything like that I would say the most rare thing you can do is throw a perfect game now when you think about that I mean just think about how rare it is that a perfect game occurs it's it becomes a bit more uh, often nowadays but you got to realize like that's you literally can't let any batter do anything you can't walk about or you just got to hope none of your your uh, teammates commit an error that's right here we get a two run home run with Miguel Sano in the first inning um and there's a lot of reliability on every single person so this is where it all started they have Ryan Braun batting lead off for some odd reason uh but we strike him out and that was just kind of the kickstart for a really good day out of Carlos Rodon as you see the third batter of the ending we strike him out as well um and you'll see the whole stat sheet at the end of the game it'll, it'll be pretty impressive I just want to say that like I was great I was literally sweating at the end of this game because I was so freaked out about what was going to happen if I was able to complete the perfect game um, but as you can probably tell by the title, we are able to do so. So, um, I hate, I, you know, I've never done this before. I've never gone to a commentary spoiling the result at the end. Uh, but this is such a specifically unique cir uh, circumstance because I don't think I'll ever throw a perfect game again in MLB The Show, no matter what year it is. Uh, so I feel like if there's any episode for any sports game that I'm going to spoil the result beforehand, it will be this one. So if you guys are new to my MLB series, or if you're new to my channel due to this MLB series, um, and you think I'm going to be spoiling uh, games for future uh, situations, don't worry. This is a once once in a lifetime type of experience. So this will be the one time I'm kind of just going into the game telling you guys what's going to happen. So you see Rodon's continuing to pitch pretty well here. I kind of decided I didn't want to show you guys every single app. But it just seemed kind of like a repetitive circumstance. I mean, none of them did anything. It was just they would get out every time. So... It wasn't the most entertaining stuff. It's right here. Freddie Freeman gets his second double of the game in back-to-back at-bats. Um, so he's doing a great job so far. Freeman, who actually struggled a lot. He went 0-5 for 5 in opening day in my last episode when everybody else got a hit. So luckily he's coming up here and coming up pretty big with uh, two doubles, like I said. So um, I didn't want to show you guys every single at-bat of the opposing team, but I decided to show you guys basically the last at-bat of every inning. I did that every inning besides the ninth inning, and that's when I show you guys every single uh, or the last pitch of every single at-bat because... Um, that's you know kind of the most important ending when you're trying to finish it off so uh, it was it was definitely a unique experience here now I didn't think of all people if you want to picture yourself throwing a perfect game you picture yourself having I don't know Steven Strasburg on the mound I don't know how this first name that came to my mind Clayton Kershaw uh, Dallas Keuchel um, I mean there's some there's a list you, you guys know what I'm going for though like when you imagine yourself throwing a perfect game you're gonna picture yourself using one of the best pitchers in the whole entire league and Throwing one with Carlos Rodon is a bit of an interesting experience because he's he's not one of the best players in the league now. He could be there one day, but for now, he's about 23 years old. He just came in the league a couple years ago, and he has talent. He's definitely not a bad pitcher. He's the number two guy in my rotation, so obviously, uh, he has some type of meaning to my rotation. has some type of, type of influence on my team, um, but he's not really the type of guy you'd imagine yourself throwing a perfect game with, but not even just that. But this was not an easy lineup by any means. Like, this was a lineup... I was really, really scared to go against because when I was looking at it, I was like, this team is stacked. They have Chris Davis, Ryan Braun, Shin Su Chu, uh, Troy Tulowitzki. I mean, those. imagine having Braun, Tulowitzki, and Chris Davis as your as three hitters on your team. That is a stacked team, and they still have a bunch of other good guys too. Like like I said, Shin Su Chu knows how to hit. He's a pretty good hitter. Um, they had a few other guys too, but they had a pretty nice list of talented hitters, and I was really worried going into this game that I was about to give up five, six runs. Um, that I was about to just get absolutely, I don't know, wrecked by this whole entire team. But oddly enough, it it was, that, you know, I mean, obviously that was not the result because, I, I mean, what, I don't want to say it again, but yeah, we throw a perfect game. So 
I was just there's so many things that were going against the possibility of this happening so that's why I was so stoked about this I really want to put into into play how rare the scenario is but even how more um, unlikely it was due to the pitcher we had on the mound and the batters that they had because this was obviously a hitting team that the CPU that drafted this was obviously looking for a really nice hitting team because um, their pitching is not that great I mean Michael Pineda is their ace uh, but their hitting is basically what's going to win them ball game. So to actually limit their hitting from doing anything the whole entire game, um, I I'm kind of going to give myself credit for that. As right here, you see the first out of the ninth inning, that guy's going to pop up. The second out of the ninth inning, they got Shinsu Chu up here. I believe that's Shinsu Chu. Yeah, he's going to get a full swing bunt here back to the pitcher. And we're going to throw it down to first base. So the last out of the whole entire game, a 1-2 count. To, I, I don't even know who that is. But we're going to throw a two-seam fastball on the left side or the outside part of the plate. And he is going to swing and miss. And that will be the perfect game. That's the animation right there for what they will do if you throw a perfect game. You see everybody's huddling around him, holding him up like he's the Statue of Liberty or something. It's something. They were just, everybody was happy about this experience. I was happy. I was freaking out. So when I finally threw the perfect game, it was definitely a relief because I was so scared that I was going to mess up. But you guys will see the stat line here in just a second. If you guys enjoyed, please click like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series of this video, of this perfect game in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure to subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going to my channel. That fancy draft video is doing extremely well on my channel. So I want to thank all you guys for watching it. And that's basically all I got for this video. I will see you guys in the next one and peace out.